This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. Painting can be defined as applying paint, pigment, use of color, or any other medium to a support surface. Artists and designers use the term painting to refer to both the act and the result of the painting. Support surfaces where painting can be made include surfaces such as glass, walls, paper, canvas, and clay or concrete. Furthermore, paintings can be improved by using gold leaf and other materials such as clay, sand, and a variety of paper. In actual sense, paintings are used for expression purposes, and hence, there are as many forms and styles as there are artists spanning from the ancient times to the modern era, where technology is transforming every aspect of life and society. This essay seeks to briefly describe the different and major painting styles and compare and contrast the three paintings provided. It is proper to acknowledge that painting as a field has undergone significant transformation over time. In the current century, painting has been greatly influenced by technological advancement, leading to various painting styles to select from. The transformational journey started mainly from the later years of the 19th century through the 20th century, facilitated by the discovery of metal paint tubes and photography and the ever-changing events worldwide. The range of art styles varies from those that are most realistic to the most abstract ones. Realistic painting relies on the tactical use of paint, color, and tone to create a convincing illusion of reality where the paint resembles the actual object or phenomenon in a real-life situation. Another art style is painterly, which closely resembles the realistic one, but it uses paint as it is without trying to smooth the texture to achieve realism. This can easily be noticed through brushwork. Impressionism, the third style of art, emerged in the 19th century but is still admired to this day despite the initial criticism it faced in France. It mainly looks like an incomplete paintwork, creating an impact of light on the surface. Expressionism and Fauvism are less concerned with the creation of reality through the use of perspective. They aim to impact emotions without sensitivity to color or tone. The last art style is abstract, and the paintings do not resemble reality. This work is intentionally not meant to be representational. To illustrate the above painting styles, we shall compare and contrast the three paintings provided on the slides using the block method. The first painting was created by a great American artist, Frederick Edwin Church, 1826-1900. The Heart of the Andes is a landscape painting that was created in 1859. From a keen observation of the painting, we realize that the style used is that of realism. Church effectively strives to create a real-life impression of the tropical scene. The work depicts a river that is bordered by dense vegetation, upland plains, and rugged, towering, and snow-capped mountains. Church's work creates a real impression of wilderness since there is no sign of human life. The second landscape painting was done by Jasper Francis Cropsey, 1823-1900, an American just like Church. Cropsey produced the paint in 1865. This work uses a realistic art style to depict the fiery autumn scenery, which includes mountains, valleys, and forests. The presence of human beings can be seen, as well as their encroachment, which is depicted by the presence of a railroad. The train smoke echoes the clouds above, creating a peaceful coexistence between man and nature. Lastly, we have the third painting by an American, Charles Sheeler, 1883-1963. Sheeler painted it in the 20th century. He used the precisionism art style to depict this large architectural impression of a factory. Sheeler used clear light with an amalgamation of both realism and abstraction art styles. In a nutshell, this work depicts a hard, exact, flat, huge, and industrial product. There is nothing living or organic in this particular painting, which illustrates clearly the influence that the difference in context and culture can have on the artist's work. This essay has described the various major styles of painting. It also analyzed the three paintings with the aim of drawing a comparison as well as a contrast between them. 
we can conclude from the analysis that art and design are a product of their context and are greatly influenced by culture and time frame. The first two paintings have the same theme, landscape, while the third depicts an industrial age of the 20th century. Church's and Cropsey's work has the most similarities in style and theme, while Scheler combines both realism and abstract styles of painting. Did you like this different styles of painting sample? To get more works like this one, make sure to check out the free database of academic paper examples at ivypanda.com. You will find thousands of samples for all your study needs without even having to register.